everybody. Welcome back to the Playing With Power podcast, the issue by issue retrospective on Nintendo Power magazine. You are joining us for part two of July of 1995. That's issue number 74. And uh, we are picking it up at page 51 with the Epic Center. I am your host, Ben. With me as always is my co-host, Mike. Hi. And John. Hey, hey, kids. And returning guests from the first half. We didn't scare them away yet. Uh, we have Kimberly and Hello? I don't forget it. What was it? Kimberly has Chavez. Yes, Chavez and Rudy Chavez. Rudy. God, I was thinking something else, but yeah. <laughs> or, or, or you could say the name Rodolfo. Oh, nice. That's just going to confuse me further, to be honest with you. <laughs> we, we, we can't say that because we don't have a guitar to go ding 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 after <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, These are the Super C's. It's a married couple that uh, games together and uh, does speed runs, that kind of thing. We did a little interview in the first half. You'd like to find out more. So we're going to dig right in at the Epic Center here. This is the RPG portion of Nintendo Power. And uh, right off the bat, they have a little section on a little game called Chrono Trigger. So I was the one that got tasked with playing Chrono Trigger. You might have heard of this game. I don't know. <laughs> I, I signed myself up for it. I've heard great things. It's best RPG, one of the best RPGs of all time. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to give you my take on it. So this is a square game, right? And uh, from the... Screenshots, if you look at it, it looks similar, very similar to Secret of Mana, um, but it is not a real-time RPG. It is turn-based. It just happens to look like it's an action RPG. So each character has their own like timer when they can play, you know, have a, another move, that kind of thing. Um, so I got stuck uh, pretty quick in the beginning. You're, it's one of those things, it's square trope. You wake up as a boy in a bed in the first beginning of the game. And uh, it took me forever to beat a carnival game that uh, was there. And you had to get like punch cards to advance or something. And I just couldn't get past the damn carnival. I had to reach out to Mike King, of all people. <laughs> To figure out how to advance. I was like, oh, you just go use this arcane secret trigger to advance the level and get past this thing. Yeah, it's called talking to everybody. Well, if I already went to the weapon shop before I went and got the girl because I was smart and went and said, hey, I'm going to go upgrade my weapon immediately before I fight everything, then I'm not going back to the weapon store for any other reason, am I? Well, now you have her. Now you have to buy stuff for her. <laughs> you don't have to buy anything for her there. I just went over there and talked to the person. He's like, oh, yeah, the thing's ready now. I'm like, okay. Oh, um, Super, Super C's, did you play Chrono Trigger? Did, well, did you play? No, I never played it. I, got it I actually have played uh, Chrono Trigger. Yeah, you like it? Is it one of your favorites? No, with you, it's one of, I absolutely loved it. It was one of the most interesting, um, uh, well, at the time, it had multiple uh, multiple endings, if I remember right. If right. Like, yep. Four, five, fifteen. It, it, oh, there was fifteen. Or at least, yeah, fourteen, and then oh. there was like a, an extra two <laughs> for the uh, for the DS release. Oh, I never played the DS version, but I, the Super Nintendo was uh, that game. You had to have a lot of patience. If I mean, I've been yeah. through a lot to that game, and oh, and so it, it'll, it'll keep you. It'll keep you through a summer. One thing, yeah, with the Mike didn't let you know, but like Mike was the kind of gamer that would play a game to death growing up. So he's an RPG god. <laughs> RPGs are right in Mike's wheelhouse. Nerd. <laughs> and that means he loves. Then he loved the Final Fantasy three for Super Nintendo. Oh, oh yeah, damn right. yeah. Last dawn, I mean, don't get started. You just jumped yeah. him up just by mentioning it. <laughs> it is his erection. <laughs> he's too messed. <laughs> yeah, so I, I got I got to the point where you get the frog added to your party, and then I was stuck again. And I just don't have the patience to go Fuck. wandering around trying to talk to every single person I've already talked to again to try Fuck. to make some magical trigger appear so I can advance to the next area. I will only say, had fu- the internet fu- around to speed things up. I will say it is fu- it was funny being a, a person looking in at this conversation from afar, seeing Ben <laughs> get upset, like. 
oh, of course I didn't know I had to fucking go do whatever thing. <laughs> We're used to modern RPGs that sort of they'll they'll nudge you like pretty strongly and like oh you know you yeah and that just doesn't these old games they don't hold your hands <laughs> with stuff like that that's for sure You're just yeah, like, here's a I world mean... for you to explore and by explore we mean figure it out yourself <laughs> I mean I don't want to rag too much on this game or anything but I I don't think that this type that type of gameplay holds up well and I want to talk from experience about a game that. I'm, I'm going to go outside of Nintendo Power on this issue. I was really captivated by Final Fantasy VII. It was like the first major turn-based RPG that I actually played through and beat all the way. Loved it, right? I've never played and it. And I, I went and tried to play it again years later, and the experience just really did not hold up well because of that same mechanic where in order to advance whatever area, you just have to go around randomly talking to people, trying to do this, do that. There's no kind of guide in game to say this is the direction you need to go or this will unlock this area. There's nothing of that sort, you know, and there's some people that may be attractive that they have to go and reread the same dialogue over and over again before they hit the magical switch. But it's really a waste of time, in my opinion, and more modern games have gotten rid of that, that frustration. They figured it out. And they just went, yeah. you know what? We're not going to force the player to go do this mindless, repetit- repetitive exercise just to advance the game forward. We're going to go ahead and just remove that and let them let them advance. So that's my Aww. opinion about these games. That's as far as I got in it. It's not nice, nice music, nice art. Play control was fine. But again, right. I couldn't Let's advance very far. Because this is an all-time classic. Let's at least go to Mike here. Um, very good. What what are your thoughts on the music on is Chronicle. excellent, the play control is excellent, the story is not the mo the story is great, although getting from one spot to another did require a guide, which you know, I was smart enough to get when I was that age. <laughs> oh stick the knife in. So you learned yep. this game with the guide. Gotta pay extra money. Well, this is a DLC. Now the truth <laughs> comes out. Now the truth comes out. There it is. Bam, Cheater. people. Cheater. Uh, mm. Back back in a time in our lives, we had time to do shit like that. I know, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, God. In the same amount of time it took me to get the goddamn frog in this game, I've been playing the new, uh, well, new to me, the Tomb, Rise of the Tomb Raider game. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Amazing game. Really? Yeah. That does not it. strike me as a, type, as a type of game that you would enjoy. I, really? I thought it was all right. I, I love I, it. I think it's I think it's a poor it's like you know like a poor man's uh, Uncharted is my take on it. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I think I like it better than Uncharted personally. Yeah. Anyways, we're getting out of track. So I'd say I, the uh, uh, the best. I started. Version, <laughs> the best version of this is to get on the DS because it has the cutscenes from the PlayStation version, and it's also got a couple of it's also got an extra ending. So it's all the all the goodness of the Super Nintendo plus the uh, the goodness of the uh, PlayStation version with none of the load times. So get that version or the iOS version, which is basically the DS with a uh, a touch interface. And uh, so in short, Chrono Trigger, excellent game. And if you get stuck, don't be a Ben and look for help on the internet on the internet. And if you don't want to bother with that, don't play the game. <laughs> I don't know. It seemed all right. If you if you have the patience for it, I think it's worth it. All right. Let's move forward to Epics in Japan. What's this whole section about? Uh, it says design your own RPG. Yep. An RPG maker for the Super Nintendo called Tsukuro Super Dante. It says... ASCII is fanning the fire by sponsoring a contest for the best game design. So it's a game that lets people get design their own games. And I guess they want to see what you create with it. Yeah. So, I don't, does this ever release in the United States? I kind of doubt it. No, it doesn't. It says that, uh, yeah, it's not likely to make it here. And okay. then there's Final Fantasy. We get to see a screenshot of Final Fantasy V. 
which does not make it to the Super Nintendo in North America until it appears for the Game Boy Advance. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have another game called uh, Wonder Project J. Oh, nice. <laughs> has, what? Has anyone played Wonder <laughs> Project J? Oh, no. I said Wonder Project. I thought you said. I thought I heard you say Wonder Boy for their for like um from that Hudson Soft game. No, no. No, you're talking about that weird Pinocchio looking game, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good way of explaining it. <laughs> yeah. It looks it like the kind. Speaking of Pinocchio, it looks like the kind of game that give Kevin Spacey would, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to learn how to keep a secret. <laughs> yeah. I, I never got to see the anime at one time when I was in um, Tokyo. They were, they were uh, promoting that, I think, before the game. Yeah. All right. You spent have... time in Tokyo, you said? No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't in in, the, in, in Japan. I mean, there was little Tokyo over here in uh, in Los Angeles. Mm. Mm. Little Tokyo, I follow you. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yep. yeah I said, they 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 had a, they had a back theater, like one of those hidden theaters. It's really interesting because in places like that, um, it was, uh, let's just say those Asian communities, they have sometimes the theaters are kind of hidden, like almost like mm-hmm. a, kind of like a church. You know, I don't know if you guys ever seen like a like a church, maybe like hidden away from like. Well, yeah, like, right. Like it's just kind of tucked in there. You kind of like stumble upon it almost. Right, right, right. Like like if you're going through some kind of a corridor, kind of a deal. Not exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. Right. yeah, and they had a theater like that, and I thought that was awesome, but I never got a chance to go in and see that one. And they had that Wonder that Wonder Day project. And mm. I didn't get a chance, unfortunately. Oh uh, uh, well, you all wonder. <laughs> next game is uh, Derby Simulator, which is a horse uh, oh, racing said- simulator. Derpy simulator. Simulator. I think you uh, you breed the horses and then race them. So yeah, yeah. So do you have to like fill up a container with horse jizz and then like take it to the other horse or like what is that part of that a mini game or? <laughs> yeah, you have to breed them. You follow the bloodlines, all that kind of stuff. I don't. Wow, that's like don't... really in depth. <laughs> I don't think you actually see the graphic parts of it, but you never know. Is that horse He's... swimming in the bottom? I think it's, it's... Like... yeah. Running in water, I think. Is he playing water polo? It says it's part like, of their training. Do they have like an anime insemination like animation? <laughs> well, this looks like one of those, uh, what's that called? Koei? Koei? Oh, Koei, yeah. Yeah, Koei. Uh, it looks like that style. Because I'm playing yeah. Aerobiz. It looks like that. I, You're I, playing I, Aerobiz? Yeah, I actually played it. In- <laughs> oh my god. You wow. are like. Wow. You have the most patience of any gamer I've ever run across. Whenever we're talking about Aerobiz games, we're just like, holy fuck. Like, so what you set, like, you just, you, it's part of, like, the way you play. You like to just break down, like, you know, a tricky game like that and see what's, like, how the guts of it work. Is that oh. is that something? Oh, I'll tell you exactly how this happened to me. And uh, Let's just say this. I, I, le- I learned about stocks and trade over that <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. This is already a sad tale. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I didn't, mind you, I didn't know nothing about how that, how stocks and works. You know what I mean, right? right all that, right. all that stuff in there, and, and I, it was actually an ex. I got that game accidentally, thinking it was gonna be like, um, like a flight Fly simulator Fly game. Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> and I end up. Uh, I end up uh, playing it so much that I go, I go well, this is something completely weird and different. <laughs> I'm more like owning these hotels and places. Yeah. That's a, it's it's a business simulator. It's not yeah, yeah. That but, stock simulator was so good. By the end, he had developed a real cocaine habit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but I'll tell you that 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 um, the, it was a. Well, I will say that's the my very first of, uh, I guess like what you said, like a business game I ever played. It, it was very boring in the beginning, but then when you once you start start getting the mechanics, you know, making people better. Better deals. I, re- I remember some weird stuff like that, you know, like the prices or the goods, the hotels, and when and, you get, and when the you get past that past rush that. of foreclosing your first orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden then, you're in a hotel room peeing on Russian hookers. It's just amazing. <laughs> I mean, I'm more like 
What is? <laughs> if, if you play enough of that game, you're gonna definitely you're gonna definitely know what is Boeing and the McDouglas and all that other weird <laughs> thing. Oh. oh my goodness, you're amazing. I I have so much respect for your patience with games because I would have just been like, screw this game, I'm not playing it. <sighs> yeah. All right, can we talk about Lady Stalker the game? Because that's no, probably no. the most amazing. Yes. Let's let's hear about Lady Stalker. <laughs> We're going to skip forward a little bit here. It's a uh, adventure with an unusual angle that taking takes getting used to. So it's uh, it's here. like Roy Moore the game. Is that what's going on? Or <laughs> the hero is a woman, the daughter of a wealthy man. When she discovers uh-huh. an ancient book telling about a mysterious island, she feels compelled to explore it. So <laughs> it's it's the lady doing the stalking, not it's... being stalked. Oh. Uh... This is Saltis, right? Saltis, like the female version of Saltis, maybe? A little bit. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if it has a bitchin' soundtrack, though. And then there's a pachinko simulator. I bet that sold really well <laughs> in America. Do, do, you, do yeah. you run the store that lives next to it that per, that trades off little uh, stuffed action figures? God, the stuff you know is like always staggering. I don't. It's 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 really rare when like the stuff we both know overlaps. But for once, I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, because uh, like yeah. so officially, you can't have gambling in Japan. But what they do with a pachinko thing is you get little balls out of the machine, and oh look, the the business next door happens to trade those balls for like stuff that you can win. Like it's a way. <laughs> around, yeah, it's totally like a way around the gambling laws. And every single one of them is completely controlled by the Yakuza. So good luck, like not getting kneecapped by like some Yakuza. Wow. But yeah, they have some more games in here. I wanted to go over real quick. They have uh, Night of the Kam- Kamai Tachi, Night of the Tamagotchi, Night of the Tamagotchi. That sounds uh-huh. fun. It's a video a series of video novels. Oh. It's a thriller, and you decide what happens next. So it's like a choose-your-own-adventure, but they have uh, crappy Super Nintendo uh, footage. Mm. Uh, I, ch- I, choose, <laughs> I choose not to put it in my game system. Yeah. Uh, Front Mission, as Mike mentioned, I think this came out for PlayStation 1 uh, in the U.S. Looks like it. And uh, it's a turn-based strategy uh, RPG game with um, mechs. Hmm. I never got to play it, but uh, they made like four of them, I think. And Five. Super Robot, which Five sounds so super, super generic. Super Roboto. Super Roboto. Yes. You, got, you got to add that grunt and that extra vowel at the end. Then you start to see <laughs> why it's awesome. All right. And then uh, what? We have some strategy guide to Earthbound. Well, look at, look at these pictures. It's like a tiny squat little silver samurai. Oh, it's like dressing up a five-year-old with real weaponry. What? Oh, he's talking about Super Robot, I think. Oh, Super Robot it has that like Gundam SD style, mm. the uh, the squished. Yeah, it's called um, Super version. Deformed or Chibi Form. Yeah, it's Super Deformed. All right, it's a, fi- Earth- it's a fighting game with those in it. Earthbound Super Seas. Were you? Were you? Or any of you in the Earthbound crew? Oh, up? you guys are gonna. You guys are probably gonna hate me for this if I tell you this is honest to God truth. Truth. You gotta hear me out on the Earthbound. Let's just say this. I would probably be a rich man, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> um, there was in back in East L.A. where, where I was at uh, one time. Let's say, well, that was a, oh, well, let's just say a time back ago. Um, they had the box <coughs> with the book of that for like $20. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I've supposedly see those things on eBay for close to $1,000. Oh, the gamer guides for Earthbound, do you mean? Or like the actual no, cartridge? No, it was like a combo. It, it was like a big box. Okay. Oh, yeah. the 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 box for this game was giant. It was a lot bigger than yeah. Than, the game yeah. came with a guide, mm-hmm. so you yeah. didn't have to do any of that extra shit. Okay. I would have got them for twenty dollars back then if I just bought. A, but I had no idea how the feature. Yeah, was. like mm-hmm. the the market for Earthbound games is absolutely crazy because it it really is a, like kind of a cult hit at this point, and it's one of those games that like obviously completionist collectors want it, but also just. RPG fans in general really want original Earthbound carts. So yes, you're exactly right. Like if you can find a 
a good condition copy of this game, uh, you can really clean up on it. <laughs> my, my, my wife actually is, is, uh, has a, a sad tale to tell you already. I don't know when the game that I missed up on. She was playing the, she was using the ZSNES emulator. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, she did a mistake that I, it's my fault for not telling her that she did, she did this, she did the save game in the in the in game, you know, yeah. there's no battery. There's no battery to save per se, right? I mean, right. And uh, what happened was it. So it did. It since she left on the computer all this time and never turned it off. She never did a save state, which it was yeah. the oh, real. No. State. So what happened is at one time it froze, and she started back to I don't know was it level three or level four? Oh had, wow! Oh, oh, that's rough. That was a level three one. She was a level thirty one. Like, oh, okay. The game. Uh, I was getting, you know, I was getting close to the end, and and the game freezes up on me, and I'm, and I couldn't do anything at all. So what I did was start it over again. Oh. Uh, I mean, because this is this is a good 30, 40 hours to get to that stage of the. I mean, that's that's a. This is not a quick game to to get through. Well, I turned the computer on and, and and then we couldn't even. I couldn't even. I was just so disappointed. I was like, oh yeah, no. I, yeah, I was saying, everything that I did. No, well, well, you didn't erase it. Just it never saved it. Oh, uh, that's weird. Yeah, did you go back and play it again, or did you, she, was that just too heartbreaking? I. She got heartbreaking so I, bad. I stopped. I stopped. Yeah. It, and probably for about a week. Or two, and then I went back to it and started over again. Oh wow, you have you have good <laughs> good commitment. <laughs> <laughs> it was I'll tell you this. It was a it was I was, I actually got a good a good couple hours just watching her play. You know, just like sort of like in the day. Yeah, is, is this a fun game to watch someone else play? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll, I'll just say this. It's 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 nice to watch when you got like you just re- like you want to rest and just kind of. I don't know. Have you ever? Are you like are you like me? Like like to kind of listen to the music or watch just the the demos and stuff. Games just run over and over repeatedly. In the that would game. be Mike more than me. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. that would be Mike. It, it it has a okay. Let me tell you to in a more I don't in a more uh I say easier perspective to, to, to tell it to you that it's like you know like Metro. You know how you hear that melody and that and you yeah on the. The fonts and then the music to go along with it, and just sort of like sleep with it. Like Mike <laughs> actually made his own capture card, and he would like pull the music off of games and and record them like back when he was in school. So yeah, I listened to them on the school bus, just jam into <laughs> Secret of Mana. Like the <laughs> song was the uh, the Dark Lich, like the, 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 the like the second last boss. That one? No, that's regular boss music. A wild, oh, bu- uh, a wild bully appears. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, the uh, the second last boss battle it sounds like it takes place inside a giant clock, where it just starts off with like this like dong dong, and then it just kicks in with this uh, this percussion fill like do 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 We've entered uh, the deep bowels and recesses of Mike's mind now. What have we done? What what what? <laughs> you did this, John. I blame yeah. you for this. Yeah, this is my fault. I'm sorry. All right, so you guys obviously both love the Earthbound game. Then you, it would be safe to say. I I haven't I haven't actually got, uh, got my feet wet in the game. Just been seeing my wife play. Oh, okay, so you haven't played it through. It's an odd game. It's got like a an odd sense of humor. It's it's definitely one of the weirder RPGs and a very controversial boss battle at the end. Yes, of course, well, which we've discussed before. It, it, just, it just looked like a kid just wanted to go homeless for a day or something. Yeah. It, it is different and it's weird. I think that's what I like about it. It's just yeah. different. I, was like, I, said, I kind of like this game. I was like, whoa. Okay. Yeah. It's it, definitely an oddball RPG. That's That's... I don't know. It's hard. It's a hard game to describe to people, but maybe yeah. I'll give it a try. It's, it's an old a, RPG. Though. It's, <laughs> a, it's essentially a game about growing up. Yeah. He leaves home, misses his mom, has to call her every now and then, like be reminded that he's still her boy, while while realizing not everyone in the world is a nice person. It's 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 growing up. Yeah, growing up with aliens. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and performing very elective... You're a good guy, Rudy. I and, like you. I'm not going to lie. And performing right. very elective surgery at the end. <laughs> ah, okay. On to classified information? Yes. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see. We have Demon's Crest. There's a boss fight code. There's an NBA Jam switch teams option. So you guess you can flip flop uh, the home and away teams. I'm, I, I guess. Or you can switch teams during the game. Is that what's going on? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, mid game you can change the team that you're playing with. So swap in the Bulls. All right, and uh, let's see. Bubsy two. There's a game change code. Blah. There's some super passwords for. It says, oh, for WWF uh, Raw. Let's see. It allows you to use their special moves, basically, and uh, oh. pin some. It's like a guaranteed pin. <laughs> Doink yeah. the clown. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you watch yeah. uh, Ben? Did you watch the the? Uh, I've only watched like I've only watched like the first like seven minutes of so far. Okay. It's like an well, hour yeah. and a half, and then you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's interesting, that's for sure. But feel bad for the guy. But yeah, it's just uh, you can tell from the beginning it's going to be depressing. It's all no Link behind the makeup. No, we're talking about um, the Nature Boy, the- Ric Flair. Woo! Video. It's interesting. Uh, let's see. By the way, I was going to say real quick that hmm? the, you know the, the guy you just saying the, the Ric Flair. Yeah, mm-hmm. he didn't do too well in, the, in America. He moved on to uh, no, uh, North Korea. What? Yeah, he went North Korea to start a wrestling career. He getting beaten up by the North Koreans. <laughs> who, gave North that, Korea? who, who gave him that idea? Dennis Rodman? No. No, he, he just, I think it's just, I don't know why he went over there, but they, he's supposed to be like, you know, like a person get getting to lose to the wrestler, North Korean wrestlers. <laughs> like, did, Rick did, Flair. Rick, no, Rick Flair was just in the hospital. Like, he's like oh, no. 70 years old. Oh no! Don't take my word for it. Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, look it up. Uh, it, it was on YouTube. He was in North Korea. Oh, uh, okay. I, I think I know why they brought him to North Korea because they wanted to learn how to spar with doughy blonde seventy-year-old white men. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I know that was off topic. You're all no. You're all good, Rudy. You're all good. Oh, all right. Super Punch Out. That, this this whole podcast is off topic. Don't don't worry about it. Super oh. Punch Out. We got Japanese characters. I don't. Fine. Uh, there's a secret <laughs> track in Super Off Road and World Heroes 2. There's a boss code. There's another special characters code oh in Star God. Academy. The, for uh, the the picture that says Ivan's Fun Run, it looks like if Donald Trump was dressed up as Spider Man, and he had a baby with um, what what's that? that blonde uh, actor that died that was in like. Philip Seymour Hoffman. That's what yeah. I was thinking. <laughs> All right. You know, you Credits know, that's cut. The guy, that's the guy from Bionic Six. I forgot his name. <laughs> Bionic Six. <laughs> that, that that man. What's his name? What's the, um, oh. I don't know, know about Bionic Six. The cartoon. Big Hero Six. Big Hero no, Six. Six. No, they might not. It probably, it's a, it's a really old uh, uh, um, cartoon. Uh. Yeah, Philip Seymour right. Hoffman Spider Man is better. And then we have. The sports scene from Lucy Ball bringing us uh, Master of the Bass tips, which we just want Bassmaster's Classic, another bass game. That's what we needed. <laughs> <laughs> We're up to our mouths in bass at this point. Oh, can we talk about the shopkeep at the bottom? Oh, God. He's like hillbilly. It's like a garden gnome came to life. <laughs> and it started it says, selling it says lures. lures, but it almost looks like lubes. He's selling lubes at a bass pro shop. <laughs> this, that's what gnomes grow to be. Uh, let's see. We also you, you don't you don't need lube with a mouth that big. Check out page seventy three. <laughs> that guy's. Uh, you know, if, I, if I can get my fist in there, it's smooth sailing. That is mm. a we, that's an interesting angle. So it's a shot from in, within the boat of an arm outstretched grabbing a bass by the mouth. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Is the t- okay? So look at the top page seventy three on the right there. Mm-hmm. Is that guy wearing a shirt? He's, he's got a he's, yeah life. Oh, okay, just on. just happens to be the same color as his skin. Yeah. So say if this game involves like shirtless bass fishing, I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a chance of uh, getting an accidental nipple piercing, well, then he clearly has, then he, he clearly has some bass to mouth action. So <laughs> yo, shake mm. that. Bass for me, shake that bass for me. 
What's uh, the what's the uh, isn't there a na- special name for the club that you used to like bash the fish's brains in? Um, there's like a special name for it. Yeah. Bassacre. Bassacre. Oh, there was. You ever watch like uh, those those video like fight videos of like really old dudes going at it? Bass fights. What? <laughs> there was one I watched recently oh, where God, a guy had that fights. No, no, not bum fights. It was, it was like a guy had one of those clubs like that that would kill fish. He was going after the old dude with it. Oh, all right. Anyways, huh. all right. So there's a mode. So like, what is this? Head on soccer is a game. It's coming out from Sony ImageSoft. All right. And then we have No Fear Racing oh from Kyle Petty. Oh, these guys got weird arms. Like you, Every time this guy scores a win, look at the way he holds his head. Yeah, oh, yeah that's kind of weird. Yeah, uh, no Fear Racing. That looks like the Daytona racing game from... Was that Sega Saturn? Look at that amazing mullet. Yeah, that mullet is like an A-plus mullet. That is amazing. Really mental <laughs> <laughs> this does look like Daytona. It's got really nice uh, mode seven view because it's yeah. not just flat; it's actually curved like the track. Mm-hmm. It does, does look a lot like the Daytona game that came out for Sega Saturn, and obviously Daytona, Sega Saturn. Daytona. Daytona. Um, and then we move on to SWAT Cats, the game, which was someone's mine. There we go. Go for it. It sucked. <laughs> it's, it's a shitty platformer. The controls are awful. <laughs> oh, man. Swat. All right. So rather than talk about the shitty game, I want to regale you with a story about a shitty cat. Okay. <laughs> they had a shitty cat that would, hit me, that would hit me whenever I sat on the couch. Or, like, if you were walking by the kitchen, it would sit on top of the fridge. Is right yeah, the I door. fucking hated that cat. That was and the would, worst like, cat. Claws out, swipe at anyone's face that walked in. Yeah, it was a terrible cat. Like, that cat is yeah. in cat hell. I hope. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Or, like, whatever the equivalent of cat uh, uh, maniac mansion is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, the cat would, like, come in at night and would eat... Like whatever it could in the room that was that would make noise. So if you had like a plastic bag, let's say in the closet holding some clothes, it would go find that plastic and start shooting it in the middle of the night. So you just hear this loud like crunching sound. So it gets to the point where it was like, okay, I can't have this, I can't have this cat in the room, right? So, so we're like trying to keep the cat out of the room, but it wants in. So I put get like that double sided tape. I put that on the outside of the door, thinking, okay, it's not gonna like the tape. So, so it comes in, proceeds to eat said tape, <laughs> <laughs> and then bang on the door, like, boom. like oh god, you know. So I finally got uh, two. Of the, I had to get two of these things called uh, scat. It was like four S's in the word cat. As in, like, scram, I guess. Yeah. Uh, even though it, scat is poop. Um, yeah. But anyways, it was a little um, motion detector sensor that you put on top of a, of a air compressed air can. Oh, God. And I got two of them, one turret for each side of the door. <laughs> so, when this thing, so when this thing approached the door, it would, go, it would shoot out a little burst of air and scare the cat away. And that's the only thing that worked. But oh, did, did it actually, like, stay away after a while, or...? No, as soon as the batteries ran out, <laughs> the thing was, was like, like the Velociraptors in there. Jurassic Park. It was like constantly, te- it was constantly testing the fences. <laughs> this cat, it's awful. That cat awful. was a fucking piece of shit. I hated that animal so, uh, so much. Uh, I, well, I was at a girl's place watching TV. Cat oh, no. like, crawls up, gets on the uh, the back of the couch. He's next to me. I'm chilling. I'm fine. And then all of a sudden, he starts eating my head. <laughs> Unprovoked. I'm watching TV. Trying oh, to I love a, that cat. Tr- oh, trying to his... get a little boob. And this little asshole decides, eat now. 
<laughs> so when you say that, does it mean it's just like chewing on your hair a little bit? Kind of like kneading yeah. and gnawing or? Yeah. Like he just like <laughs> got up and just started chewing on my head, on my hair, getting close to the scalp. And I'm just like, um, is your cat turning on me? It's a, no, it's a total power move is what that is. What you so should have said is, like, I, oh, no, yeah. I'm the one that's going to eat pussy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, so this is how it feels. Uh, <laughs> Soviet Russia, pussy eats you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why they keep asking for it. It's not that pleasant. Um, All so right. Have you ever had a ter- terrible... Terrible animal that just drove you insane. I think we lost him, Rudy. <laughs> oh, oh yes, yeah, yeah, we're here. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're okay. It's have funny. any of you ever had a really the bad sleep? Have if ever you if, if, if either of you ever had like a really terrible cat or dog or something? <laughs> well, do you, do you, do you a terrible cat or dog? What exactly do they do? Well, that's what we're like. We're telling stories. <laughs> you like, tell us. <laughs> oh yeah, I had a dog that uh, uh, I think I had um, hurt my hand one time, and I was uh, walking around, and he actually was thinking. I guess I was either carrying a pillow or a sock, and he accidentally injured my hand again. Oh. And I had to go back to the hospital and have it rewrapped. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I had got bit by a dog. That's why I was injured. And now, yeah. oh, now my own dog comes and bites the same hand, and I. What? Have to... <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably smelled the other dog on, and he's just like, "That's mine." <laughs> my my experience was a very wacky one. The um, I had, when I was a kid, uh, we had a weird, you know, one of those like a, looks like one of those Benji dogs. Yeah, yeah. Right, and, but it was a white one, and um. It'll do it. It'll always come to my room, and oh, and I don't know why, but it always urinated and crystallized the ground every time. Oh. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's weird because the pee it, it crystallizes. You know what I mean? Not, oh, I didn't need it to know that. It, it did it maybe like four times before I gave it a little whooping. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a little whooping. I like that. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, it, it kept coming like, it's like they had every other place inside the house, but it just wants to go in my room and do that. Yeah, they find a spot and they like want to re- yeah, Dogs are weird like that, but yeah, you're right. You have to kick its ass a little bit. It'll learn. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I didn't have a board and, and it, that's how it got in all the time at the time. <laughs> My all friend right. had a chihuahua. He kept attacking me every time I came over to visit him. <laughs> so when he was gone, I grabbed it by the collar, I threw it in the closet, and then I braced a door against it so it couldn't push its way out. Well, so you <laughs> abused an animal? That's great. No, I put it in detention. And then <laughs> I opened up the door after it, when, it, when it was quiet, I opened up the door, and it learned to respect me. <laughs> which is better than what my dad did with a chihuahua, which was throw it into a snowbank. <laughs> All right, all right. I saved a Chihuahua's life once. Yeah, yeah. How soon did you regret it? I took my foot. I took my foot off its throat. <laughs> all right, Jungle Strike. Oddly titled. No, no, no. I want to hear more about the SWAT cats. I want to hear about T Bone and Razor. Um, I couldn't really tell you. I played as one you of them. Play it. The okay, you shoot a rocket from your wrist. Guess how far it goes? An inch. Yeah. All across the screen. Basically, if he turned, if the cat turned around as far as his tail would go, that's the distance of the rocket. And there's oh. the other oh. button throw, it appears to throw a rock, which just bounces off every fucking enemy it hits. So I don't get why it's there. Why do you have a weapon that causes no damage? So you're saying this game's a catastrophe? <laughs> 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 All right, so Razor has like Wolverine claws, and T Bone has what a jetpack and a rocket blaster, rocket sh- rocket launcher. Uh, I I I I hated this game. Like, okay, when you look at the insert here, do you see that tiny yellow bar above the guy's head? Yeah. That's not the, that's not him. That's not him near death. That's your beginning health. That tiny yellow bar. Mm. 
So you can't take too many hits, and you can't give much damage. Nice. So they might as well call this the Pussy Pack, because it is just, like, weak. <laughs> so this is based on a cartoon at the time? I don't remember there being a SWAT Cats cartoon, but it's it says Hanna Barbera was. copyright Hanna Barbera cartoons. Cartoon. Then it was yeah. a cartoon. Yeah, there was a SWAT cartoon. They they, they fly jets. Well, oh. an F fourteen fighter probably, or I think it was an F fourteen fighter Tomcat. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> Tomcat. That makes more sense. Yeah, that's uh, good. Uh, nice. Actually, had a rocking song too. But wasn't that? Yeah, that was a little rock a song. You can find it on the intro. Yeah. All right, we're finding this right now. <laughs> we're playing this theme song. Because I, I was like, when I look at the game, I go, where are their, where's their jet at? It's like it's like it's like Plastic Man without his um weird flying airplane. Mm. Like it's missing. You mean Mr. Fantastic without the Fantastic car? Oh <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for it. There's a dinosaur eating Manhattan now. School of rockets shooting a Godzilla-like creature. There are dinosaurs attacking things. Oh. Two mechanics who are cats suit up. Oh, I can hear that music. They're getting the jets. They're launching. They're firing rockets this at the is Godzilla. Good. You know what's interesting is like the animation style in the intro, at least, is like very anime style, which is not what I expected. <laughs> All right, let's move forward. Jungle that, Strike. That music was good. Oh, by the way, I know what you guys are going to say. That's a Hispanic blow up dog, right? <laughs> what? What? Oh, my God. That's so hot. That's awesome. I was going to say she looked like a victim of domestic abuse, but I think yours is better. Oh, Hispanic <laughs> blow up dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she has no teeth, that's why. Yeah, she had her mouth open. She just, you're right. Oh my it's god, perfect. she's like Sarah Huckabee Sanders, like when she was like a, like at her sexiest as a teenager. Weird cat. All right. <laughs> Who had Jungle Strike? The sequel to Desert Strike. It's Mike because he played it last month when he thought we had the Super Nintendo version. Oh, okay. And he said it was okay, I think. Yeah, uh, it looks okay. The controls. I played. Go. Sorry, I played it growing up. It 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 it's like a better version of Desert Strike. No, no. ice. Like Desert Strike. It's a better version of it. <laughs> Sweet. There's a hovercraft and a. Uh... This is from EA. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't remember. I think so. EA and Granite Base Software, whatever that is. So you, you pay $2,100 for some crystals and it takes you to the end of the game. <laughs> Until you revolt in the uh, player's uh, pulse of power too on much. Reddit. <laughs> so, yeah. Castle's Corner. Those... Yeah. We have Sue Fox telling us about Brandish. Oh, my gosh. Is this the first time we've seen someone out of their uh, their uniform? Nope. Mm, last nope. Month they had last month. You have forgotten last month already, and she's rocking a purple a vest <laughs> in her cube, mm-hmm. and has the. Uh, how would you describe those bangs? Banging. It's <laughs> about oh right. God. It's like a, it's like a rake on her head. <laughs> like dreads for bangs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. But, uh, we have uh, Don Carroll. He looks like a fucking uh, warlock. He's he's this got long hair, <laughs> but his hair is also retreating from his uh, scalp. It's just he's got a five head going on. Hey, and as and we have Aerobiz Supersonic as we were talking about the Aerobiz game, <laughs> so 
here's some tips for you if you're playing the supersonic version at least From what are the linda molinari the mcdonald douglas <laughs> 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 it's just been engraved in my head ever since I played the game. Yeah, let's see. That was an MD-80. The MD-80s were the ones with the jets on the back near the tail. They have an A-Bus A370. Hmm. And uh, you got a Boeing 737-300. So <laughs> Southwest could play this game because that's like the, the plane they flew almost exclusively to this point. So... Hmm. All just, right. just don't invest in the Lockerbie base. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, Got Tard Gardnier from, uh, Dress- for Jurassic Park 2. Yeah. Telling us how to survive some Triceratops and T-Rex areas. Well, that's not mm-hmm. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. My Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, the game. <sighs> the movie, the game. Which is odd. Because the game doesn't follow the plot of the movie. <laughs> so. I thought that was, thought that was um, WWF Superstars for a second on the right. <laughs> yeah, so. This game is bizarre because it feels like they, they wanted to make a game for the TV show, but then they realized the movie was coming out like, fuck. Like, okay. Because, like, all the bosses are actually from the TV show and not from the movie. What? Like, the the final boss is, uh, what's his name? Um, Ivan Ooze? Yes. Sorry. Brian Cranston. Yes. Brian <laughs> Cranston and Elizabeth Banks. Uh, no. So you fight Ivan Ooze at the end of the game. So that's true to the movie. But you fight by yourself. You don't fight as, like, the the Megazoid or whatever fucking, you know, super... I, I don't know. I'm not a Power Rangers fan. But, like... Uh, it's, it's a just, Megazord. Whatever. All right. Is there a level where the Green Ranger has to murder someone in middle of your life? <laughs> <laughs> That's the Red Ranger. <laughs> Is it? He's, okay. he's still doing yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. The blue one... They're supposed to be teenagers, but the blue one looks like he's, like, Roy Moore's age. So, I don't know... Well, that's why he's hanging around with the teenagers then. That makes a lot more sense. I don't know. It's just, it's a pretty, like, bland beat em up. You know, like, you, you figure out the boss pattern. There's just not a lot here. Like, there are two, um, like, lanes on each part of the screen when you're fighting your way through the level. So you jump up and down between either the <laughs> bottom path or the top path. Sorry. There is a guy named Magnet Brain. That has a magnet for a head. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's worse than Chairface Chippendale from the Tick. <laughs> yeah, it's the are those, bosses are pretty bland. Are it's those just, dinosaurs like, on surfboards? Yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh my god! This looks awesome. And then there's a girl in a halter top on a ski mountain. Yeah, because it's not cold. Cause that's that Aisha. Is... <laughs> that's he's playing this. There's a snowboarding level where you're like going down the mountain, have to fight enemies like off your snowboard. <laughs> and this and, game and, makes and no sense. Like none of none of it doesn't match the movie. It's just it's weird. It's if you like Power Rangers, it's okay. Like I, I just I don't know. I you know what the hell is yeah. that guy in the middle? It looks like he. It looks like a guy that was parachuting in. And then a stray missile caught his parachute and is now yeah, propelling him to his doom. Again, I didn't like. I didn't read this when I was playing the game, so I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, is Kimberly curbing a guy in the top yes. left picture? Yes. Don't take my purse. It'll cost you your teeth. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> These screenshots are amazing. You don't <laughs> touch my fucking purse. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh-huh. oh uh, and the other thing that's really stupid, so you build up your super, which is, like, turning it, you, like, morph into the Power Ranger suit, and then, like, once, you're, once you've morphed, you only get your weapon for, like, a limited amount of time, which makes zero sense. Like, why? Uh, it just doesn't, it just doesn't add up. Like. Remember in the Power Rangers TV show when they only had a limited amount of time to fight those things? And then that's they turned fine. back into normal people? Yeah, that's fine. But, like, when you're morphed into your power suit you don't have your weapon all the time 
It's stupid. You don't even. Oh my god! But that's supposed yeah, to be yeah, your yeah, ultimate yeah. ability. And you're supposed to be your strongest when you're morphed. Yeah, <sighs> and you morph, and you don't have your fucking weapon all the time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Fuck this game. Yes. <laughs> Did you guys ever, uh, did y'all ever play the Sega CD version of, uh, no. movie, but it's probably, uh, of, um, Power Rangers, it was pretty, it actually was, actually decent inside. Yeah. It's kind of like movie style, plus, um, action scene. All right, take Kimberly's advice, play the Sega CD ROM, or whatever <laughs> other re- may, way you might be playing these games, because the yeah. Super Nintendo version is unremarkable. I have to say. Kimberly love Kimberly, right? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty decent. You gotta like, give it a try. It's a live action sequence. You just have to mm. whatever. They'll tell you where to go. It's kind of like Dragon Ball. And good. then, let's see. Next game was Animaniacs. I played the Super Nintendo version because I'm dumb. And so I didn't play this version. <laughs> this seems to Jesus. happen a lot. <laughs> Did you yell at Mike multiple times for doing that? Yeah, but it's different when I do it. Cause, I see. Yeah. Uh, so we have, we have nothing to talk about. For Basically, the, I'm the Al Franken, and he's Roy Moore. All right? So <laughs> it's forgivable for you to do it. Yeah, exactly. I but I do it five or six dozen times, and all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> uh, all right. Yeah. We'll move forward to the next game here. Oh, shocker, I played the Super NES version of this Game Boy game, which is World Heroes 2 Jet. It's a fucking hat. Is that the one with the so, Here's my comment on the Super NES version, which we never talked about. Of Jet right. Setters? Of oh, World okay. Heroes 2. Oh. It says, here's my notes, man, word for word. The only fighter I know where you can play... As a NFL football player in full gear, nice. <laughs> that it, it is unremarkable. Otherwise, it's a fighter. It's just another fighter. It's a shitty fighter. It's <laughs> SNK, so it's another it's another one from there. King of Fighters. Uh, wait for fight, Tek- you know. Wait for Tekken. Yeah, it's just like one of their. I don't know why they kept making so many around the same time. Oh, we have extra sprites. Make another game. Here we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. The Players Poll Contest for the month. Uh, yes. Third prize, Nintendo Power T-shirts. Uh, second prize, Life Fitness Entertainment Jackets with buttery slop, <laughs> soft leather, leather sleeves. Mm, and cool remember. embroidery on the back. Oh, sold. Mama All right. Buttery soft leather. Buttery soft mm. leather. The question is, I'm going to question... take that jacket home with me. You know the what I'm qu- saying? The question yeah. is, are they fluid resistant? <laughs> you both made the same joke in different ways alright let's see and then the, f- the grand prize win a complete entertainment system from Life Fitness and a 27 inch television 27 inch television are you out of your mind and a Super Nintendo as well so control your game through your life cycle oh, yeah. I still like that idea I'm uh, I know it probably didn't work that well, but my hat's off to them for at least trying to execute it, I have to say. I can dig it. You know, this would make RPG players the most buff people on <laughs> the planet. <laughs> Mike's just like Lance Armstrong after a year. Because <laughs> it's just like you got to go for like 40 minutes of pedaling to get to a save point. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and you only have one ball, so that... <laughs> it's <All> like... <laughs> All right. he's, like a, he's like a centaur, except like, a, like an obese centaur. <laughs> <laughs> like a beast on top. Legs. <laughs> and just like really buff ass legs. <laughs> he's like, he, he's eating like liquefied chicken. Uh, like, <laughs> all right. Uh, so uh, we have the um, Power Players Arena as well. There's a. Cheating is lame. What have they? They busted him. This is a clear photo and awesome score, but entry is disqualified because the Super Nintendo was not included. So they don't have a picture of a game genie this month, at least. I don't, he's not necessarily cheating in, in that. That just may be he omitted accidentally. Yeah, that's what, that's what they're saying. Like we don't know that he didn't. <laughs> yeah. But they put they put a big sticker on it saying cheating is lame. Yeah. yeah. Well, because it's obvious, like he's not including the Nintendo. So what's he got to hide, huh? Mm. Yeah. 
All right, let's move on to now playing. And then we got, huh? Which is, uh, it says either this is the Battle of Olympus or a slide of someone's vacation in Greece. Let's move on to now playing. We have, uh, let's see here, Hanna Barbera's Turbo Tunes, which is a five player game. Uh, it says Yogi Bear and Huckleberry Hound challenge you and your friends to a foot race on the Super NES. Uh, so it says character looks, characters look like famous cartoon counterparts, multiplayer mode. However, simple AI and boring one player mode. So I'll kind of run away read about this a little bit. It says the basic idea is to charge around a single screen, single screen race course with their choice of Top Cat, Quick Draw McGraw, Yogi Bear, Snagglepuss, Hong Kong Fooey, or Huckleberry Hound. You don't get to play El Cabong? I guess. It's yep. just like a race around on foot. Oh, yeah. Over- he, and he swings around on a rope, so. All right. Uh, let's see here. Kyle Petty's No Fear. Oh, yeah. Did we? Uh, we barely mentioned the No Fear Racing. That's the one with the curved racetrack. Kind of went through all of these. What about Syndicate? Who wants to tell us about Syndicate? Syndicate. Cyborg agents circle the globe in a unique multiplayer action adventure from Ocean. What's a good thing about it? Both action and strategy are required and great music. However, small character graphics, slow learning curve. At times you can't see your character, difficult control. Well, Sounds I don't remember. Like void. Was there I remember something weird about this game. I ran it across says this. Four player co op. The PC version of Syndicate's been receiving a lot of attention, but the Super Nintendo game captures all the excitement and challenge. Oh, okay. There was something. I forget what it is. There's something special about that game. Ah, oh, God damn it. There's so a there's, roller hockey game. It has That's four, So it always has four player, four characters on screen at a time. If you're a single player, you only, you control a four at once kind of no, thing. No, it's the PC. There's something. I'll look into it, but I, there's something about the PC version that was... Uh, that was different. It like, I don't yeah. Know. I remember. I remember like recently hearing about that game, like within the last few years. Mm. Uh, there's a roller hockey game. That's kind of interesting. You don't see that every time, every all, all that often. <laughs> so hockey on wheels look like hockey on ice, and there's a reason for it. <laughs> yeah, they're not too big on that one. So let's see. Uh, what are the editors recommending this month? Donkey Kong Land. No surprise. They also, Osferatu and Judge Dredd both scored pretty well, though. Yep. Pack Watch. Right. Let's head down the pipe. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, a.k.a. Diddy Kong's Quest, is coming up. They have Super Mario World 2 coming out. Um, Yoshi's Island, right? Yeah, Yoshi's yeah. Island. Uh, oh. This was a good game. And they have horrible screenshots from upcoming baseball game for Virtual Boy. Uh, let's see what else they have here. Ugh. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy is coming out for Super NES. So it's the first three games of uh, Super Ninja Gaiden, but with some remastered graphics uh, on a single game pack for the Super NES. That'll be yeah. one of the games next month. <laughs> uh, Batman Forever for Super NES. And that's all um, like real photos, like, like the Mortal Kombat style. Is, yeah. is, there, is there a bat nipple move? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is that, is that right. the one with the rope? When you have people had trouble to find out how to go up and down the rope? Yeah, I think so. So we called Mutant Chronicles, which looks like Earthworm Jim. Uh, Wildcats Covert Action Teams, based on the comic book. It's a, a brawler type of Final Fight type game. Zoop, that's the game that we had saw a photo of earlier. Yeah. Looks like a shitty version of Othello. Uh, Castlevania Dracula X. Do you have like, your dryer open? <laughs> no, that my son just likes banging on doors. Do <laughs> 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 you have your dryer open? <laughs> Tecmo Super Bowl Two Special Edition. Let's see here. Power Source Summer Camp. Oh, it's a website that they have stuff on for Nintendo Power. Let me talk about that. Dragon Lee, Dragon the Bruce Lee story. Where the final boss is an aspirin. More fake graphics that are not going to be on the Nintendo Ultra 64. 
and uh, let's see here. Uh, Urban Strike. More Jungle Strike. <laughs> the Mask ad- movie adaption video game, and that's about it. Next issue, they have Virtual Boy Special, and uh, they go over a 20-page special uh, feature covers the first games we released for this incredible new system. Um, they also cover Chrono Trigger more, Boogerman, Phantom 2020, based on the cartoon, Street Fighter 2 for Game Boy, and Northrend Gym for Game Boy. And that's pretty much it. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. There's this ad for the AOL Nintendo of America. <laughs> yeah. What What is going on with this, like, tub of toxic waste that's on his desk? I don't know what's going on. This seems to be a recurring theme with every one of these advertisements that feature a teenager's bedroom. Is that they must have some literal toxic waste in there because it's so stinky, I guess? I don't know. Mm. The dog is going for a ride, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, it's, it's, a, it's a teenager looking at a computer screen in their room, and there's things flying out from it. So you got a Nintendo Power Source logo flying out from it, a piece of paper from Nintendo Power, the dog, and then a bunch of <laughs> bunch of like an early emoji flying out. Yeah, Diddy Kong is like cowering in fear. <laughs> He's like, this computer's hey. scaring me. Well, he saw the site he went to before Nintendo. That's, that's why. <laughs> God, so- I remember when uh, Zelda.com was a porno site. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see a pink bra? Uh, on the, like the left corner of the <laughs> desk there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm more worried about the butt plug behind the basketball. What? The butt plug? That's the corner of his desk. It's like the column of his desk. That's the, the foot of the desk chair. The desk leg. Well, I mean, everything's a butt behind plug if you try the, hard enough. Behind the basketball. I mean, that's that bl- bright orange thing. Behind the basketball. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's it. That's it. it. It's, that's a bowling pin, right? <laughs> The butt plug? Oh, he's talking about like his right shoulder. There's a bowling pin and a oh, basketball. Oh, I was looking on the floor with a soccer ball. There's a soccer ball. ball. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Diddy yeah. Kong is his butt plug. <laughs> That's what he's cowering in. Yeah, yeah. And that thing. <laughs> And that thing on the left is not a bra. I'm sure that's a, a tube sock that he used previously. Yeah. And it's now hardened into a, fr- a firm shape. Dude, I could, like, hammer nails in with my tube sock <laughs> on my hand. Well, no. on my hand. <laughs> Why the, what the, who the hell decided that the sock was a great idea? I mean, what ha- what's wrong with Kleenex? <laughs> the dog keeps stealing it and running off with it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, who the hell uses their damn sock? I mean, like, just the, just the effort it takes. I just I mean, call the... your mom. <clears throat> oh, mercy. All right. All right. So, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Um, thanks, everybody, for listening. If you want to find more about us, you can find our website where all our old issues are. And we've, we go back all the way back to 1988. Uh, we first issued Nintendo Power and even before then a little bit. Uh, you can go to playwithpowerpodcast.com. Find us on Facebook. We're very active. Um, just look for facebook.com slash playwithpowerpodcast. Or you can support us and give us a donation to help us uh, uh, afford the hosting fees at patreon.com slash playwithpower. You can find us on Twitter at getthepower88. Or um, you can leave us a review on iTunes, which would be swell. And uh, Super C's, thanks for joining us. Where could people find you? Huh? <laughs> where can where can we find you? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can find this. You can find this super C's on various YouTube and, and Facebook we will, channels. We will link their links as they discuss the first part. Yeah, yeah YouTube. Uh, what do you call it? Facebook. Facebook, YouTube, um, and uh, we also have um, we have our. Uh, Individual um, the super seas. The super seas. Um, all right, we will link to we will link to all that. You guys have been good sports. You really stuck. You stuck with an, an entire issue. Yes. Our hats off to you because most uh, most don't make it that long. So <laughs> you had some funny funny uh, funny takes. I liked it. The right. uh, Hispanic uh, blow up doll was, was the best <laughs> one. <laughs> Mike, what do you got for us? 
Uh, if you like horror movies and uh, comedic banter, you can check out the Graveyard Shift Horror with Sheldon and Mike podcast. Facebook.com slash the Graveyard Shift pod or on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or uh, the Podbean app. And if you have trouble finding episodes, let us know so we can fix it. And I'm on my sandwich based dating app, Grinder. So go with that joke, huh? Yep. Very good. All right. Thanks to everybody for listening. I'm Ben. I'm Mike. And I'm John. And now you're playing with power.